Okay, so in today's video, it's just gonna be a laid back I'm one. I'm gonna share with you um, a few reasons why you might wanna start your own Catholic YouTube channel, blog, newsletter, you know, kind of like whatever your talents are or what um, type of platform you prefer. But there's a lot of benefits and it doesn't have to take away from your family. Like, so actually one of the reasons why I started a YouTube channel was to actually have fun doing something creative with my kids and just showing them like, I don't know, different different things that we can do to reach people, evangelize, and also share some of our favorite Catholic resources. So one of the reasons that I started mine was that there were so many amazing resources that I would come across and you know, I would just completely forget about them. Like I would be like really into it and then come a couple of months, completely forgot about it hardly remembered like a lot of the the things that I thought were gonna help me spiritually and as a mom and so what I thought was well if I'm writing about it if I'm talking about it that's gonna help with my retention and I <laughs> at the very worst I could always go back and watch my videos or read my blog so to be more specific some of the ways that my children help with my channel is my older children actually helped me to design my uh, YouTube thumbnails and help me with ideas for video topics, book recommendations, and um, we all have fun then watching them later. And they also help me sometimes with editing and it's just a lot of fun. And then to go back and look at them and uh, to see how, even you've seen like my son, um, he was like six months when I started the channel. So now he's a year and a half and just seeing how he's grown over time is so cute. So it's not like you have to be uh, excluding them from the channel. They can be in the videos, they can help with behind the scenes things if that's what they prefer. So it's really fun and, and you get to share like what are their favorite resources. So, or, you know, for me as a mom and a homeschooler, like so far just sharing what I like, what's useful to me, what's useful for our family. And it's also, it can be pretty isolating um, being a homeschooler, especially when I was a new mom, I felt so alone. Like I was trying so hard to make friends, praying that I could meet, just make one friend that was Catholic. And at the time I was in California coming from, I had been, you know, doing academic research. So, you know, a, a lot of people that I knew had a very different mentality that was not in line uh, with Catholic morals and teachings. So even just having two kids was considered a lot and they just couldn't understand why I gave up uh, pursuing a PhD so I could be a stay-at-home mom. You know, those were tough decisions. So it was very lonely. So, you know, back then I just didn't know any Catholic mom YouTube channels and I wish I would have uh, because that would have been a huge support and so that's just one benefit of putting yourself out there is just uh, relating to and connecting with with other other people in my case other moms other families uh, so that's just one reason so another reason to start uh, the website blog or YouTube channel is that you can reach people worldwide and have an impact that you might never even know until you know god willing in heaven god shows us you know the fruits of our efforts of showing sharing our knowledge the faith things like that and so that's why also i would encourage it to be more of a a catholic um audience and just because you know you don't want it to turn into a distraction so even if it has to do with you know hobbies or different things i always like to incorporate the faith and maybe you know it it's more niche, but it's kind of, I think helps to keep the focus. And so at least that's my perspective. And so for everything I do, I just think, okay, all for the greater glory of God and also um, to help others learn more about the faith and to also deepen my faith. Another reason to start your own uh, platform is so you can overcome that fear of starting that or that fear of like um 
being on camera or putting yourself out there is really not as bad as it seems. Like I was so nervous and I'm already like a very to myself person. So uh, to be putting myself out there like that was a huge step, but you know, just prayerfully discerning, I thought, you know, the, the benefits outweighed those risks and, and definitely it's worth it. Um, it's definitely worth it to, to overcome those fears. Like I did not like seeing myself on camera or listening to my voice on, on video or recordings. And I just got so nervous. If you see my first videos, you know, I was just, my heart was pounding, you know, I was taking deep, slow breaths, like not to be obvious on the camera. That's embarrassing to say, but at the same time, I want to be honest so that in case you feel that way, you're not alone and it's actually a lot of fun. Another reason to start your own channel or blog is that then you might end up meeting people or crossing paths with people that you never would have otherwise um, because it's similar like-minded people that are looking for that kind of content. So you might end up with like friends and acquaintances and people in the audience that just you have so much in common with and they can share things that help you to learn as you're also sharing. So it's like a, an amazing, beautiful thing that uh, you definitely will meet like-minded people and that is incredible, make friends that you never would have otherwise. Um, even if it's just like, you know, online and and just just sharing these things that you know maybe people wouldn't have heard of otherwise and what a beautiful thing that is okay well thank you so much for watching that's just like a few ideas uh, if you need help kind of like with the steps of how do you start your own newsletter blog youtube video there's plenty of those resources out there but you know i would be happy to to do it if if you wanted me to uh but for now you know um there's lots of them out there and uh, thank you so much for watching and God bless you and and let me know your thoughts in the comments below like is that something that you consider doing starting a blog website YouTube newsletter uh, I would love to hear about it and and know uh, if you did what would it be about would it be about your family about the faith book reviews let me know down in the comments thank you God bless you